Hello, this is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. So I've been thinking about putting together this video for a while now and just by way of introduction to explain why I've got quite a few things to show you here today. I have come to the realization, like many, many people in the diamond painting community, that one part of the obsession for me is diamond painting. It's, it's the process of diamond painting and creating pretty things. And there is this whole separate part of the process, which is collecting. Um, I love collecting pretty new diamond paintings and kind of cycling through my stash. I also really love accessories, the add-ons, the things that you can get that just kind of add to the diamond painting experience. And over the past several months, I have bought quite a few new items and I'm putting them all together in a video today to show you some of the things that I've got. Some of these will be things you're probably familiar with. They're, they're well-established brands in the diamond painting accessories world. Some may be quite, not, not quite so much. But I will show you all of the things that I have bought recently um, and just let you know what I think of them. So what I'll do is I will mention as much as I can as I'm going through about where I've got these things from, but I will also list all of the shops, most of which are Etsy shops, in the description box down below. So if you want to check these out for yourself, you can. So the first thing I'm going to look at is diamond painting trays. This one is a particularly strong element of my obsession <laughs> because trays for me are a massive part of the diamond painting experience. I'm fussy and if a tray doesn't line the drills up well and it doesn't pour the drills back into the container, I just don't like to work with it. I work on a lot of pieces with a fair amount of confetti, so I'm changing colours a lot. So the ease of pouring is really important to me so that that doesn't become a, a real pain. And obviously lining the drills up, but I mean, that's self-explanatory. But the more and more I get into multi-placing and the quicker I'm able to get through my paintings because of that, the more important it becomes to have really good solid trays for lining things up. So the first one that I have bought in recent times is this tray here. So this tray is from 3D Art RL on Etsy, and they are a small business based in France from the looks of things. They have loads of 3D printed diamond painting items. Now, I focused exclusively on trays when I was checking on their Etsy because that's what I wanted. They do have other items as well, so I do suggest checking them out. They've got a lot going on. And obviously they ship internationally because they ship to me, um, shipping was fairly reasonable because it was only coming from France. I can't speak for what their rates would be like going to the rest of the world. They have a huge range of different shapes and sizes and colours of trays. They don't seem to have like a shape that is, you know, their thing. Um, so like when I was looking for this tray on their listing, when I was preparing for this video, I couldn't actually see it. I could just see loads of other ones. So I probably will try more from them in the future. This one I got because I was looking for a nice large tray, which lots of space for lining up my drills. Um, but some of the ones that I have that are large at the moment don't fit in my hand so neatly. I quite often hold my tray like this when I'm done painting and do this. So it needs to be something that fits comfortably without stretching my hand too much. I was also able to choose the depth, which I thought was a nice touch because I don't like too shallow a tray because of what I was talking about before, where when you're shaking the, the drills out, they kind of fly everywhere. I will say though, and this is on me because it's great that they offer options. I'm personally finding the two centimeter size actually a little too deep and I keep kind of <laughs> knocking against it. But that's on me, as I say. So I'll just show you because, you know, what's the point of demonstrating a tray if I don't show you how it works, how it lines up trays. Oh, this stopper as well, it comes with a stopper. I will say I haven't used this tray very much yet and the stopper is already very loose. Things like stoppers do tend to get a bit loose in 3D printed trays over time, Ooh. but this one has not stayed um, well fitting for very long at all. Right, let's give them a good shake. So there you go. As you can see, that has lined those up really nicely. So yeah. Nice tray, great range in the shop, probably something for everyone there, so do go check them out. They get printed on demand, I think because they, they have so many 
styles they couldn't possibly print them all in advance because you know <laughs> you'd have to have a warehouse to have enough of a range um so yeah go check them out bear in mind that it will take probably a couple of weeks for them to print your item and and get it sent out to you but after that shipping was pretty pretty quick okay the next trays um, are one of my favorite purchases that I've made in terms of diamond painting accessories. So I saw Oraloa being mentioned on a diamond painting Facebook group because someone was showing their drills all lined up in a tray and everyone was saying, where did you get that tray? It's lined up the drills so amazingly. And I was one of those people. <laughs> so they had got it from Oraloa and I have already mentioned these trays on some videos because I've been so excited by them, but I'll repeat myself because they fit in this video. So I went and looked on Oraloa's website. They have two websites. So they have one for, I think they're based in Canada and obviously that would be the one you would go to if you're in the USA. And they also have a shop in France, which is great for us Europeans because obviously shipping was a lot cheaper and quicker because they only came from France. So at the time I looked, they only had two styles in stock. So I ordered one of each of those. And I just, yeah, I've been blown away by these. I just. I've been using this one in particular almost constantly since I got it. This one, I love the tray and the design. Um, just because it's darker, I find it a little less helpful because as soon as a drill gets to be a dark color, I don't see it very well against that. This one is a great contrast against, against most color drills, unless of course they're a sort of mid blue color. <laughs> um, they say Orolo are on the back, so you've got nice branding. They feel really sturdy. The sides are not particularly deep, but they, they do the job pretty well, as long as I tilt drills back into my container at an angle. Um, and I've only got square drills to demonstrate today um, because, yeah, I'm, I've only got a square kit on the go. And my husband is working in the room where the round drill spares are. He's like teaching online, so I can't go bouncing in there looking for drills. Anyway. <laughs> They do line up square drills perfectly, but the biggest draw for these, for me, is the fact that they also line up round drills perfectly. I think I might have shown this on my post review of Second Dreams, because I, I used these throughout that. I have never found a tray that lines up round drills anywhere near as well as it lines up square drills until these. They're brilliant. So if you do a lot of round drill paintings, I highly, highly recommend these. And then because I was so obsessed with these, I went back and checked the website again when they had more in stock. These as well have also featured on my channel before because they came as part of a bigger order. But just to show you again, in case this is the first time that they're appearing in a video for you. Um, so these are another two styles that they offer, which I bought as well. <laughs> I probably don't love these ones as much. Um, this one, I prefer a spout. I find this a bit sort of blunt for tipping into a, a tray. I mean, it'd be fine in one of these, but I'm often working out of narrower pots. This one lines up the drills brilliantly. And it has a little bit more space because it's wider than the other one. So as you can see, that does a really good job. Like the stopper as well, really nice and secure, fits on well. However, I'm not a massive fan of trays that are flat along the spout end um, because when I tilt these out, let's get most of them out, and then you tend to find some sort of stuck in the corner. So you have to tilt, and then sometimes they're in both corners, so you have to tilt the other way, and yeah. I just don't wanna be adding extra steps <laughs> if I'm having to change color a lot. So this one is definitely my favorite and I will probably get a couple of other colors so that if I'm working with mid blues, um, I can still use a tray like this. Oh, I've left a drill in there. But we all have different preferences. You know, some of you would not mind at all what I just said about the spout. Some of you don't like a spout. Um, we're all different. It'd be boring if we weren't right. So check these out and see which one you think would work best for you. But if you are looking for a tray for round drills in particular, highly, highly, highly recommend. And then the last addition to my tray collection that I've bought recently, let me just move these to the side, 
is this one. It's a Bella Art de Nicole tray. This one I actually bought on a D-Stash site uh, where someone was selling on one that they didn't want anymore. Um, I have bought from them directly before, but this one wasn't. So, Bella Art de Nicole is a very well-known brand in the diamond painting community and does really good quality printed trays in particular, lots of other items as well, like drill grinders and trash pots and all sorts of different sizes of drill trays. This is a large. Um, so yeah, do check them out. <coughs> as I say, I have purchased from them directly before, but the shipping to the UK is pretty expensive. I think it was in the region of sort of 15 to 20 pounds. So if you buy, like they often sell, for instance, a pack of one large tray and two small trays. And if you buy that and then you're paying for shipping, you're suddenly paying like 40, 45 pounds. It's a lot. So I was really pleased to find this on a D-Stash site because I love the colour. Um, yeah, so it's got a sliding lid, which is really nice. I don't tend to use the lids that often because if I'm done painting, I tend to just put the drills away because I have a cat and this isn't cat proof. <laughs> um, but yeah, nice feature, slides on and off really well. There's a spout, this one, a stopper rather, this one still fits pretty well. As I said, they do wear over time, these 3D stoppers and get looser. Um, it's not a big deal. So let me show you, for the sake of completion, how this one lines things up as well. This is the brand that I think people are probably going to be most familiar with out of the trays I've shown you. And I know a lot of people love these trays and have tons of them in their collection. They are really, really good. So they do drops every week on their website. I think it's Tuesdays and I think it works out about 6 or 7 p.m. UK time. Um, so whatever that is in other countries, you would have to Google. Um, and the popular colours do sell out really quickly. So if there's something that you want, because they previewed them on their Instagram first, make sure you're on there straight away. <laughs> okay, moving on. Actually, not really moving on, because still on the subject of Bella Art to Nicole, there is one thing that I've purchased directly from them recently. So they have on their website 3D printed multi places. And these were being sold really cheap. They're described as over printed. Um, so I guess they've got more than they can sell. There they are. Um, so I've been using one of these. I've, I've had mixed luck with them. So they are really cheap. Shipping, as I say, is expensive, but these themselves are only going to cost you about 50p each. Um, so nice and, you know, nice and economical to pick them up. They are sturdier than the thin plastic multi places that we get in kits. They are considerably less sturdy than a steel multi placer. So if you're a really heavy placer, heavy presser, this maybe isn't an accessory for you. I've got one installed on one of my pens here that I've been using. I'll just show you, it's nice and narrow. Um, in fact, if I compare it to this standard white multi-placer, you can probably just about see it's a fair bit narrower. So what that means is it's going to be nice and narrow in between your drills. It's not going to be bashing into them too much. Um, Probably you'll have to replace your wax or putty a little more regularly because there's less of it in there, um, but that's fine. I did have a couple of other ones. I got a curved one, which for some reason I don't have here. What have I done with it? I think I took it off because the curved one was not narrow and I tried it and it was just too wide and it was bashing into the drills on either side and I didn't get on with it. That doesn't mean it wouldn't work for someone else. Um, you know, lots of people use wider multi places than I do very happily. They just don't work for me. And I did have one other one that I tried to install in a pen and the pen was shaped such that I needed to use a little bit of force to get it in and it just snapped. So as I say, you do have to be a bit careful with these, but they are a nice option for trying a different kind of multi placer, something a bit sturdier than a thin white plastic one. And if you're in the US already, so your shipping is cheap, you could pick up loads of these for not very much money at all. <laughs> okay, let me get these put away and then we'll move on.
The next thing I wanted to show you was my drill grinder that I picked up. So I had been thinking about getting one of these for a while, but I always held off doing it because as much as I love a gadget, as much as I love an accessory, I thought, is it really worth it? You know, I used to do the, the trick where you get two of those cheap, well, you get them free with cheap kits, um, those little green trays that don't have spouts and they stack on top of each other. And you put the drills in one and then sm smash the other one down on top and like grind them together. And that does a decent job of separating drills. But I did always find they were kind of jump out and about. And that would annoy me. So I saw this one and it is from the UK, which made it a bit cheaper. So this is from Crafts with Marley on Etsy. They do only deliver to the UK according to their Etsy store. But there are other options if you're in other countries. This is a good option if you're in this country and you don't want to pay, you know, 15, 20 pounds shipping to get this teeny tiny item from across the other side of the world. So I'm finding it really good. Um, as it so happens, I bought this and then the kit that I'm now working on, which is the Abstract Mystery by Briz Bazaar from Diamond Art Club, has loads and loads of drills that are really stuck together. So it's funny how it works, isn't it? I didn't have one, I would have struggled, I bought one, and now I am needing to use it quite a lot. I don't know if I've got any stuck ones in this section. I might have ground this top layer quite recently. But basically what you do is you tilt the drills in, turn this around a few times, check them, and you'll see that most of them get broken apart quite easily. Oh, I'm going to need to put them in a tray now to tip them in. One thing I do struggle with is I tend to lose a few when I'm tipping them out of here. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it's a good little gadget and handy if you have a kit like I'm on currently where a lot of the drills are stuck together because that would get really old if I didn't have a good way to separate them. Um, you, what I tend to do is use it for a bit, grind up what I can. If there's a few that are really stubborn that still won't separate, I mean, if I was running low on drills, I'd try to separate them by hand. Otherwise, probably just ditch them because the last few where you have to really go with it to get them to grind up tend to get all scuffed up and wouldn't look that great on the painting anymore. But yeah, I have found this to be a really helpful little bit of kit. And it feels nicely done, you know, it's very smooth, the, the pieces fit together well. It's, it's a good bit of kit. I do recommend these. They're not a must-have. I went through almost two years of diamond painting without having one of these. You can manage perfectly well with other ways that don't cost any money. But if you like to have the easiest way to manage these things, a drill grinder is a good option. Okay, so <laughs> the next section, if you like, of this video is my favourite thing that I've been trying. I have been getting more than a little bit obsessed with trying scented putties for my multi-placer. And there's three different brands that I've been using and I'm, I want to show you those today. So the first one that I tried, so this is my little pot that I keep, the ones that I've opened and started already in, in the fridge because I had a tip from someone that keeping them in the fridge gets them to a good firm consistency and it seems to be working for me. So the first one that I tried was this sensible one. I picked it up on a D-Stash group and this is Harvest Jubilee. Maybe not a scent I would have chosen, um, hence why it was being de-stashed. The person didn't like the scent. I do quite like it. It's got a very strong sort of, how would I describe it? It's got like a sort of spiced smell. I don't know. It makes me think of like Christmas drinks like mulled wine and stuff. Anyway, it comes in this little pot and it's quite a thick pad of putty. So what I do, and I believe this comes from the instructions on Sensible, um, is I take a bit off, I get a piece of baking paper, I roll it around in my fingers and shape it into a thinner strip and then I, I fill my multi-placer with it. So that's how I'm handling that and I find this one really good. So I love the colours first of all, I love the individual element, they all have a different sticker, they all come in these little pots but they have a different sticker and they have different pretty marbled colours but 
that wouldn't matter if it wasn't any good to actually dye and paint with. So I find it really good in the multi-placer. It's not too sticky, although it is too sticky to let near your ABs. It will pull the covering off then. Um, it lasts a fairly good long time in my multi-placer and the scents last as well. You know, you do keep smelling it for the time that you're using it. I've definitely got two or three days of diamond painting out of one batch of it before, which isn't bad at all. The other thing that I like about them is that although they're a Canadian brand, they're actually pretty easy to get in the UK without spending too much. So here's my other ones that I've bought. So I've placed a couple of orders and there's been a couple of scents I haven't liked, so I've sold those on. But then there's been lots that I really have liked. Um, and they're not too bad to buy to the UK, even though they're coming from Canada. The putties themselves only cost, I think it's like £2.89 plus taxes. And they're not huge, sure, but I mean, I've used this quite a lot. And I've only taken that much out of it. Um, because it's so thick, you're going to, you know, you, you could... It's at least double the size that you see in there once you've got it to a, a sort of thickness that suits putting it in a multi-placer. So I've got lots of different scents here. They've got so many to choose from. Ocean Breeze, a very, very pretty. Actually, this is one that I'm not so sure about the scent of. I may end up de-stashing it at some point. It's, I mean, my husband sniffed it and he described it as floral and it's supposed to be Ocean Breeze. So it's, it's nice. It's just, yeah, maybe I don't love it as much as the others. What else have I got? Ooh, white truffle raspberry. Obviously, you can't smell them, but that is lovely. That's like really intensely raspberry-ish. Berry waffle is probably one of my favourites. I'm going to struggle to actually cut into some of these as well because they're so pretty. Uh, tropical treat. Look at all the colours in that one. Mm, really nice. Pineapple-y. And this one, which is probably my favourite scent, although it doesn't have swirls of colour, Marshmallow. <laughs> I love them. So yeah, really recommend these. And it's nice that presumably they are still reasonably priced if you're somewhere in North America. But they're also really reasonable to get over to the UK. <clears throat> so I said they were £2.89 plus tax each. And the shipping sort of between £8 and £9. It goes up ever so slightly the more you add, but like just by a few pence so if you can afford to buy maybe you know four in one go four or five in one go you'll spend maybe 25 pounds ish um but you'll you'll have four or five putties for that so per putty <laughs> once that delivery charge is kind of averaged across them it's not too bad okay the next one that i have been trying and another real favorite of mine is Abby's Diamond Putty. So these are the two that I have open. I've got Peppermint Cream and Sweet Peach, but I have also bought from her uh, Black Cherry, Bubblegum, and Black Raspberry and Vanilla. This one, I think, is my favourite, going by the scent. Mmm, that one's gorgeous. <laughs> Makes you want to eat it. So... Abby's Diamond Putty, it's a fairly new shop on Etsy. Um, I'm a member of a diamond painting de-stash group and someone who's a member there discovered this on Etsy and mentioned it to all of us. And we all like flooded her with orders and sold her out instantly. And since then, she's been adding more stock. She's been adding more scents. She's up to about eight cents, I think, at the moment. She is still fairly new, um, but she's thinking about branching out and offering other accessories. The brilliant thing about these is if you're in the UK, these are, I believe, the only scented putty provider in the UK at the moment. So these are going to be so much cheaper than anything else where you're paying for international shipping. The moment they cost £4.50 and then £1.50 postage. So not bad at all, really. And there's plenty in there. Let me open a brand new one to show you. So you've got a big, thick wadge of it there that's going to last me ages. And Abby herself, the owner, is really lovely. Um, she's started a Facebook group so she can keep customers up to date with what she's thinking of trying and all of that kind of thing. Um, so I'll link that and her shop down below. But yeah, really recommend it. Give it a go. So it's very sticky. Um, 
if you find it too sticky i would suggest either putting it in the fridge for a bit or once you've filled your pen just scuffing the end of your multi-placer a little bit against your clothes you know just sort of taking your pen and going like that just to add a teeny bit of fluff on it and take the edge off the stickiness and then you'll find it's fine and it lasts for a really good long time in the pen for me um i actually find like this was the first one I bought and I wonder if she slightly changed the formulation by the time I bought the second one because I for some reason I feel like I found this one lasts better in the pen than this one I'm not sure um but yeah it lasts a good long time gives you nice satisfying pops and clicks <laughs> and yeah it's lovely keep it away from your ABs it is too sticky for ABs moving on so the last one that I've tried that you will have seen in the pot already is one that I have no doubt lots of people will be familiar with already because this is a really well-known brand, Randy's Crafty Corner. I really wanted to try this one. So I managed to pick this one up on a D-Stash group, first of all. Cherry Cola. Really like this scent. I've used it a lot. Mmm. It's sort of a little bit like marzipan, I suppose, which I don't generally like, but I do like this one. So, um, Randy's Crafty Corner, I mean, I don't know. I would, I want to say she's one of the original putty providers on Etsy, but I don't actually know that. I just think she's so well known at this point that I, I assume that she is. So who knows? She has a really wide range of scents and she seems to be bringing out new ones all the time. Um, and it's really nice to work with. It's really soft. It's not overly sticky. Um, in fact, this one you can use with ABs. So the thing I most like about this is I can put it in my multi-placer, I can put it in my single placer, and then I can just place all my drills with it. I don't have to switch my pen to one with old putty or wax when I come to AB. So I really, really like that. On the flip side, I tend to find this one doesn't last quite as long in my multi-placer as some of the other ones do. Um, I've only tried this one so far. I haven't tried my other scents that I've bought, but I will get onto these at some point and I'll be interested to see if, if I have the same experience or if it seems to vary at all. They're a little more expensive than a lot of the other putties. I think they worked out in UK money about £8 something each. The big issue with these to the UK is shipping because it's about £15 and it's £15 if you buy one um, and it's £15 if you buy eight. So the reason that I have these is I did a kind of collective order with some other people um, where we ordered eight between us and then split the shipping proportionally um, and I sent them on to them in the UK, which was a really nice way to try it. But, you know, I wouldn't want to do that all the time just to try them. Um, I actually think I'm, I'm maybe going to try one of those shipping forwarding companies so that I can indulge my obsession with um, US-based accessories further. But anyway, that's that's for another video. So yeah, highly recommend these if for some reason you haven't heard of them yet. If you're in the US, these are going to work out a lot more economical for you. If you're elsewhere, I mean, I really like them. I'm obsessive about these things. Do I think it's worth the cost of getting them to the UK? I'm not sure, not now there are other options that work out a lot cheaper, but if you see it on D-Stash or whatever, you know, highly recommend picking it up to have a go. Okay. So there's my putties and I've got one more small shop accessory to show you and this is one of my favorite purchases in a really long time i actually put up a youtube short for this one as well as a tiktok and instagram reel so you may well already have seen it but yes this is my pen from la douceur d'une plume and i am obsessed with this pen so it's run by a lady called audrey she has a facebook group and an etsy shop and I'm not sure if this is what she normally does or if it's just what she did that time. But the time this was up for sale, all the pens that she'd uh, turned were listed on her Facebook group and people entered a raffle for a right to buy. You know, they kind of number themselves down below and then she did a draw, a random draw for who was going to get to be able to buy it. And I missed that. But then 
it actually didn't sell. No one took this one. And I came along and this one had been loaded on the Etsy store. And I saw it and thought, that's gorgeous. And also the thing that sometimes puts me off with pre-turned pens is I'm fussy about them. I like quite a slender pen compared to a lot of people don't like big chunky pens but I looked at it and I thought from the dimensions that it looked pretty slender so I messaged Audrey on her Facebook group and asked her and she was really accommodating I measured it for me and told me you know this bit is this much and this bit is this much and I compared that to my pens that are really comfortable and established that this was going to be the right sort of size for me so I bought it I can't remember exactly how much it was I do remember thinking well that's a lot more reasonable than some pen turners um, not that they overcharge, I just mean in terms of, you know, the price was really reasonable for a good quality pen. Um, so yeah, I snapped that up. This here is a Diamond Art Club single steel multi, um, single placer. Um, so that didn't come with it or anything. But yeah, this pen is my absolute favourite at the moment. I've actually had to force myself to put it down and use another one to vary things up because um, I've just been using it more or less constantly since I got it. It's just the perfect size and shape for my hand and I think it is so, so beautiful. It came packaged really nicely with lots of little extras like a wax sample and stickers and there was a, a cover minder, a lovely little unicorn cover minder. In fact, let me get that and show you. It's my cover minder collection. So this unicorn here in the corner came as a freebie. So that was a really nice touch. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely going to be stalking her Facebook group to see when she next puts up a drop because if she does any of the slimline ones like this, I am on them. <laughs> so yeah, really happy with it. Thoroughly recommend. And that's it for my small shop purchases and accessories. I did want to mention one more thing. It's a little bit different um, because this comes from a big company. So I'm going to call this a special mention for diamond painting accessories. But I do want to mention it because it really helped me out. So this is Dot Stick. I'm sure that this will not be a new product to many of you. Lots of people will have heard of this. It's been around a long time. It's sold by Diamond Dots, um, but I've never been able to get hold of it because it always seems to be out of stock when I look. Um, and I just, yeah, I couldn't get hold of it anywhere. Anyway, I found it on Amazon a couple of months back. Anyway, um, it was on for about £12 and I think it sells for £6 on their website, but I really wanted to have some in. So I bought it and talk about coincidences, the very day that this arrived from Amazon, I had need of it. I have never actually needed to touch up the glue on a painting before, but that day I did. <laughs> so I was finishing the old waterway cottage and some fluff had got on one corner of the painting and I, just, I couldn't fix it. It had no glue left. I think the plastic cover had peeled off and then all sorts of fluff had got on and yeah, it wasn't gonna work. So I was able to use this so this is the reason I wanted to mention it was just that it was so helpful. So basically, if you've got a patch on your painting that's missing glue or there's some sort of problem, you put this on, you spread it over, you leave it for, well, it goes on looking white, like sort of PVA glue. You leave it for somewhere between half an hour to an hour, something like that, until it looks all clear and you've got perfect poured glue tackiness again. So it really saved me that day and I'm just, I'm glad to have it in so that the next time I need it, I'm all set. So there we go. That is my small shop accessories haul, if you want to call it that. It's not that I bought these all in one go. This is several months worth of purchases. But I'm really, really happy with what I've got here. And it's just nice to share some things in the hopes that, you know, these, these help out some of you. Oh, I've got those. <laughs> So yeah, let me know what you think, um, what your favourites are amongst this, if you've tried any of these, and most importantly, for an obsessive collector like me, if there are any other things that you would highly recommend that you think it's worth me looking at, um, bearing in mind that my big obsessions at the moment are trays and always pens <laughs> and putties. So yeah, let me know if you think there's anything else that's worth me taking a look at. I hope you've enjoyed this and thank you for joining me here today. I will see you again soon. Bye.